Okay. In one of our previous sessions, we discussed the concept of the mole. And remember that we abbreviated as MOL. And in that discussion, we mentioned that one source of confusion for students was the similar term, molarity. Okay. Um, and so the purpose of this session is to try to um, further our discussion of the mole and sort out how it fits into molarity to understand the um, relationships of them. So if we recall, we said that the mole was equal to Avogadro's number. of some item, be it an element or a molecule, which was 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd. Therefore, um, there are 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in a mole of an element. And likewise, there are 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in a mole of molecules. So let's put this in terms of some units. We'll be using units of polarity, and units are important to keep straight what we're talking about. So we could say that there's 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole, okay. or likewise 6.023 times 10 to the 23 molecules per mole. Okay. Right. So we could say that there's 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd marbles in a mole of marble. So once again, the mole is just this Avogadro's number of units to make up a mole. Okay. Um, so that if we had half a mole, 0.5 mole, we would have 3.0115, if you want to carry it that far, times 10 to the 23rd say atoms, this is in atoms. So, if we divided or multiplied 0.5 times the 6.023, or we divided by 2, so we just took half the number of atoms and half a mole. So, once again, mole is a number. Now, so what is molarity? Molarity is a concentration. Right? Important, mark that out. Molarity is a concentration. What is a concentration? It is a concentration of defined as moles per liter. Right. And our abbreviation for molarity is a big M. Right. So molarity, big M, is equal to moles per liter. So we talk about concentrations of solutions. And in this class, we talk a lot about solutions. It's one of our key uh, skills. If we had a one molar solution, 
There's one more. Solution, then we would have one mole per liter, or we could say one mole per big L. Okay. So, once again, units a mole per liter um, is a concentration, right? whereas a mole is what is a number, right? Mole is a number. Molarity is a concentration, but it's a concentration de defined in terms of a mole per liter, right? So let's look at an example of its use, right? Let's say if we have a one molar solution of saline. Now what is saline? Saline is just an aqueous solution, that means it's made in water, of sodium chloride. NaCl. So this is a molecule made up of atoms of two elements, sodium and chlorine. And so let's determine what the molecular weight of sodium chloride is. So again, we've got, as we did in mole, we've got one per molecule. We've got one atom of sodium and one of chlorine. So if we go to our periodic table and we look up sodium, we find a value, an atomic mass of sodium of 22.99 gram per mole right, for chlorine. We find an atomic mass of 35.45 gram per mole. So that's one times that. So since we have one of each, we can just add those together. And so the atomic mass uh, or the molecular mass of sodium chloride is 58.44 gram per mole. Right. So if we have one mole of sodium chloride, we'll have to weigh out 58.44 gram. Right. Okay, so back to our solution. We we're interested in a one molar solution of sodium chloride. We said that the definition of that, of a molarity, was one mole per liter. So if we wanted one molar sodium chloride, we need one mole of sodium chloride in one liter of water. Okay. So if our instructions were to make one liter of one molar sodium chloride, okay, we would go way out, 58. 0.44 grams, right? I mean one mole, right? And bring it to volume in one liter of water. Right? So there we there we are. We now know what. Molarity is. Remember, it's a concentration defined as moles per liter. Moles per liter. So, if we had a 0 0.5 molar solution of sodium chloride, okay, then we would have 0 0.5 mole per liter. Okay. So if we wanted to make that up, 
what would we do? We'd have to say, okay, one mole okay, of sodium chloride is 58.44 right, gram per mole. Right? So if we take 58.44 grams times 0 0.5, so we want half a mole, then that's going to be 29.22 grams right, of sodium chloride. Zero point five moles. So if we take that twenty nine point two two grams and we put it in one liter, now we've got zero point five molar big M sodium chloride. Now, let's look at a caveat. That's defined in terms of a liter. Say if our instructions, we didn't need a liter. Let's say we needed half a liter or 500 milliliters. Right? Then we're going to have, that's half the volume of a liter. So if we needed 29 point, oops, I should say point 0.5 liters of the 0 0.5 molar, if it took us 29.22 grams right, in a liter or the half molar, okay. 500 milliliters, if we just said here, is 0 0.5, right? So we need half as much, so we say 0 0.5 times 29.22, right, is equal to right, 1, 14 point six one grams of sodium chloride into five hundred milliliters. Right? It's going to give us five hundred milliliters of zero point five molar sodium chloride. So the way to get a handle on this and to, to achieve an understanding of it is to go through and work, uh, work some problems on your on your own. Work some of the sample problems using moles and molarity um, to get a mastery of it. But once again, the, the point to remember that the mole is a number. Right, 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd of something. And molarity is a concentration defined as moles per liter. Moles per liter. Okay. So when you're going to be making solutions, which you'll be doing a lot of, and, you, and it's defined as molarity, then you're going to have to take it back right to your uh, chemical formula, like ours for NaCl um, or in previous things, you know, like sulfuric acids, H2SO4. You know, you're going to have to take your chemical formula and your periodic table and determine right, the mole, right, how much that the mass of the mole, how much, you know, how many moles do you need or what part of a mole do you need, right? and what volume do you, do you need? Because your 
they'll, your solutions will, will just um, be defined in molarity, which is the concentration, and usually it'll specify a volume, okay? Because you need moles per liter, or basically moles per some some volume um, that you have to do a proportion if you're making more or less than one liter. So work on some problems. Work on a lot of problems, right? So that you really um, uh, this becomes kind of second nature to you. Thanks for listening.